After flowing for over 4,000 kilometers, the mighty Mekong's waters split off into many distributaries, giving life to the southernmost part of Vietnam, the Mekong Delta. The river sediment makes the area's soil very fertile. Therefore, it is Vietnam's agricultural zone of choice, the food basket of Vietnam, with two-thirds of the land being used for agriculture. Rice is the most widely grown crop, with about 11 million tons produced per year. It's estimated that 80% of the country's fruit is grown in the Mekong Delta. It's also Vietnam's most important fishing region, producing approximately 60% of the nation's supply. Overall, it's said that 46% of the total amount of food produced in Vietnam comes from the Mekong Delta. I'm in Canto, the city that many people would consider the capital of the Mekong Delta. From the rooftop patio of my hotel, I watch the market below. Even with an amazing view and a pool to cool off in, I can't ignore the urge to get into the action, into the life of the Mekong Delta. So this is Tan An Market. Tai Tung. Ah, yeah, okay, so it's elephant. Elephant ear fish. You fry it up and it goes crispy and the, the scales come out. What do we have here? Catlock. Catlock. It's snakehead fish. It's an ugly little thing. Big, huge teeth in it. Oh! Is it uh, Ron? Long. Long. Oh, oh. It's an eel, not a snake, an eel. Alright, we found some jackfruit trees. These trees here grow jackfruit. You, they're bagged up though. I think they bag them to keep the insects from eating them. But here's some small ones. They've got some banana trees here. Cool, let's keep going see what else we can find. <laughs> So we found a rice paddy field. As you can see, it's all flooded. So they flood the field, the rice grows, and they, they can control the water. Um, and I think the main reason for flooding it is to keep the weeds from growing. The weeds won't grow in, in the water, and they, they raise the water up to, um, I think a third is sticking out of the water. But, uh, and then they'll drain the water out, and they'll put pesticides on it, put the water back in. Uh, it's it's pretty cool how they do it. We have no idea where we are. Took a wrong turn somewhere. Now a crucial decision. Let's see, Google Maps. Oh nice. It's exactly where we want to be. Back on track, baby. So it's 5.30 in the morning. And you can see it's pretty busy. Who would possibly be up this early? Well, I'll tell you who. People who work in the market. And it's bustling. And we're up because we're going to see the floating market.
Café da Ma. Bye. We're down one of the canals. It's beautiful. I don't know where all the tourist boats went, but I'm glad they're not here. Well, our boat driver just dropped us off. She pointed to go this way. She doesn't speak English. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Hey, puppy. I don't know where we're going, but I'm happy enough strolling along the street. <laughs> Here it comes. What do you think this is for? Hmm. I think that's a bathroom. I'm lucky I have perfect balance. Why small? Why small? I think it's a, like a civet. What is it? Oh, it's like rice husks, I think. Good job. I'm surprised more people don't get their heads sliced open with those motors. <laughs> 